Yes, hello and welcome. This is the Universal Vinyls Premier League match day 32. And let's just have a look at what's just happened here. Absolutely unbelievable. Six eye dropping points to the social monkey. Done well by the looks of things over the course of the uh, course of the game. Managed only conceding once. And uh, you're just going to have a look, see here. Who's going to be top of the league now? It's uh, definitely hotting up at the top of the table there. So the top four are confirmed. Uh, Mashup United, Six Eye, Young Natolians and the Blue Army. I would all say have solidified their top four spot. It would be a massive disappointment for Blue Army if they were to fall out of the top four, considering their goal difference ahead of the underdogs. Now, the Wooden Spoon is a toss-up between the bottom two, as you can see there. Maybe West Ham Sandwich. We'll have to wait and see on that one. Um, as you can see there, the Blue Army's disappointing collapse against Maddock. Much needed win. We'll just go back to the uh, back to the table there. There we go. And uh, yeah, Wooden Spoon is definitely on for the bottom three. Goal difference is pretty all similar. And we'll have a look at the fixtures of who's got what at the at the end. So it looks like Cairo Mobley is going to be picking up the golden boot and Mashup United are sitting top of the table, which is a fantastic outcome for Alex. He's uh, been in it for the th three seasons now. He's been involved and uh, he's been in amongst the top half of the table. But this is looks like it's going to be his crowning season. So with a 3-0 victory and Cairo Mobley, it looks like he's pushing on for the golden boot and, as you can see next to me there, the, uh, the World Cup trophy. Um, just a little announcement that I have wanted to make. Um, we are actually starting a World Cup on Football Manager. So what I'll be doing is I'll be inviting 32 players uh, to come on board and basically pick a team which is not in the top 10 in the world. So what we've done, uh, a few of us have got together and had an idea have taken the top 10 out of the FIFA World Rankings. So those teams would be, get me a bit of paper in front of me here. So Belgium, Brazil, France, Argentina, England, Italy, Spain, Portugal, Holland and Germany will be removed from the Football Manager World Cup. So uh, that leaves, I'd say, some interesting fixtures that would probably pop up. Now, the way this is going to work is that once I have 32 people, I will be um, picking random names to random numbers out of the hat. So nobody gets to pick or choose what team they're going to be getting. It's all luck of the draw. Um, from that point onwards, once you've got your national side, you will be um, expected to pick a squad of 23 and then manage that side through group stage and knockout phases if you get that far. Now, uh, what we're going to be doing is that once those teams have been chosen, um, we're going to be obviously setting up the, the tournament and then the groups will be drawn randomly. So you don't know who you're going to get. You don't know what country you're going to be playing. It's all going to be literally, once the teams are picked, the draws will be announced for the groups. Each entrant pays £3 for entry and the actual winner of the tournament will receive the national shirt of who they've chosen. So, for example, if you pick Croatia and Croatia win the Football Manager World Cup, then you will receive a Croatia shirt. Vice versa with any other country, you know, if you, you pick any team that's around at the moment, or if you really wanted to, you can actually design your own shirt through Swaz and have your own independent shirt, which you've made yourself with your own badge and the Universal Vinyl sponsor across the middle. So, um, I'll be starting this in June. So far, we've got 12 entries already, so we've got 20 places remaining um, for the World Cup. So, you know, we've got a couple of months to get uh, get other people on board. But if you're interested in just having a little laugh and seeing if you can win yourself an international football shirt, then obviously direct message me through Facebook and we'll get things going. So, um, you won't be picking your sides, as I said. So, I'll have numbers from 1 to 32 in one hat. And then I'll have everybody's names in an alternative hat and they'll be drawn simultaneously, one after the other. And then obviously I'll do the groups after that. So now that I've got that out of the way for the World Cup in June, because that's when it's supposed to be played, isn't it? Eh? Other than Christmas. Um, we've got 
potentially a championship running in the last two games of the season for the Universal Vinyls Premier League. Mash up United and Six Eye out in front for the title. So it's a two-horse race now. Young Natolians and Blue Army have got to say they've uh, blown their chances at the title. I mean, there is a slim chance the Natolians could finish at least second, but I can't see that happening myself. So we'll have a look at the fixtures. So that was match day 32. We've just noticed. I know it says match day 11 there. Um, explained before, there's been a couple of little glitches um, along the way. But the updates should change for next season's um, next season bits and pieces. And hopefully we actually get a transfer window in the next one as well. Because uh, I was looking forward to actually doing that with a few people. Because they had some changes they wanted to make. So, match day 33 looks like this. So the Blue Army are taking on Barvar with the Maddock up against the Young Natolians. Mash up United up against Inter Yunnan. So that's the championship match there. So we'll be keeping a close eye on that. RB up against the Bobby Dazzers. A mid-table clash on that one. Shanton Albion. Continued disappointing season. Up against the Social Monkeys. And yes, I've had a disappointing season as well. I had a good start, but uh, fell flat at the end, unfortunately. Six Eye up against Was United. So as you can see there, two of the sides that will be playing for the title or playing lower league opposition. So it could go into the final day. The Strong Jackals are up against PBG. Poor showing at the end of the season has cost them a top four spot. Underdogs United, oh, sorry, Underdogs FC up against Thai United FC. Um, underdogs are within a slim, and I mean slim, chance of pinching fourth off the Blue Army. But if Blue Army pick up a win against uh, Barvar, that's not going to be happening. And the West Ham Sandwich... Only need a win against BRU to make sure that they don't come away with a wooden spoon at the end of the season. And um, we'll just have a quick look at the last games of the season. So this will be the ultimate finale. I'm going to be doing a big video for the final day of the season. Uh, so we've got BRU up against Maddock on the last day. Barvar looking to avoid the wooden spoon. They've got RBFFC. Bobby Dazzler's up against the Strong Jackals. Inti and Nan are playing both the top two. So it looks like Adam Zamet's going to be deciding where the title's going to be going, either to Mash Up United or to Six Eye. PBG also could break some hearts for Mash Up United. They've got a home tie up against the potential champions. The Social Monkey up against Thai United FC. Some mid table clash there. And the Underdogs up against the West Ham Sandwich. Um, I'm sure that that would be all finished with the bottom half there. And then finally, potentially a third versus fourth swappage with the Young Natolians and the Blue Army. So that will conclude the season. Um, I've got to admit, we've we've done quite well. I think we've where well, we've covered a lot of the uh, a lot of the fixtures and a lot of the goals. Uh, people have definitely been messaging me saying, "Oh, what's going on here?" You know, we've. Uh, it's interesting to see that if you continually play the same people all the time, that you are going to get injuries and you are going to get suspensions. So it can cost you if you don't get in touch and change your team around. So I'm just going to have a quick look at a couple of other bits there. As you can see, honours even at Soft Pillow Park for PBG. What we'll have a quick look at just before I shoot off. I'll go back to the competitions. There we go. Just have a quick look at the stats. So BRU are the form side. As you can see, they've raised from the ashes from being near enough bottom of the league. And now the form team haven't only lost one in their last 10. Um, they've done exceptionally well with a couple of changes that they've made. Mashup United, obviously you can see there, and that one loss in their last five. Potential champions. Blue Army have been up there quite, well, quite a lot this season. Unfortunately, not had a title charge. Let's have a quick look at the goal scorers. So, as I said before, Mobile, Ronaldo and Mbappe look like they're going to be the top three. Marcus Ratchford might pick up a bronze if he's lucky. Assists look like it's going to be a shootout between Warprows, Mount, Ronaldo and Alaba for the assists. And obviously, man of the matches at the moment is led by Cristiano Ronaldo. Lucas Dinge at Blue Army is the dirtiest player in the game at the moment with three red cards and Rudiger as well with two. So it looks like Blue Army have got a discipline issue there. Uh, it needs to be taken care of by the looks of things. So I'm going to bring the video to a close now that I've got a few bits and pieces in there. Don't forget to head over to the Social Monkey and like, share and subscribe on YouTube. Obviously that helps me 
uh, only a fraction of the amount. Obviously, I'm not doing too much at the moment other than football manager videos. There will be further uh, podcasts up and coming, but it's uh, times constraints with uh, with work and obviously getting people here on the days that they're free as well, which is quite a struggle. So I'll continue to do the football stuff for the time being until I've got a, a solid date for my next podcast. And don't forget to head over to the Social Monkey page on Facebook and on YouTube. Also head over to Universal Vinyls as well. Uh, those guys, will obviously, as you can see, do my jumpers and my hoodies and my t-shirts and everything else you can think that's Social Monkey. So presentations are not going to be for another four weeks uh, we've got to wait for the shirts to be delivered for the for the winners and um, so there will be a two-week hiatus for the universal vinyls premier league obviously we want to match up um the playing time with the actual winners because i don't want the winners waiting uh, for shirts and for prizes and bits and pieces we want to finish the league on a high with uh, with everybody receiving their prizes at the end of the season. So after today, there'll be a two week wait and for match day 33. Um, and then obviously we'll have presentations, photos and any other bits and pieces of the winners and the losers of the Universal Vinyl Premier League. So thanks very much for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic day. And uh, I'll see you in a couple of weeks with match day 33. So good night, take care, enjoy the video and I'll see you all soon. Take care.